Hey everybody and welcome to the next episode of our draft challenge. We are on scenario seven, the penultimate scenario of the Dunwich Legacy. We had a great Where Doom Away, sorry, we had a great Blood on the Altar. We had an abysmal, absolutely abysmal Undimensioned and Unseen, where we've seen a Salty Justin in a way that I have not experienced Salty Justin in a very long time. However, we are now on Scenario 7 where Doom awaits, where if everything goes wrong here, this might be the end. This might be the last time we see these two draft decks in action. I'm hoping not. I'm hoping not. So, let's dive in, shall we? Let's uh, see what our opening hand is. In a 42 card deck, what are the odds of seeing Cyclopean Hammer in our opening hand after a mulligan? What if I told you it was 100%? Frick. <laughs> uh, frick. Well, this is going to be embarrassing if we don't draw it. I mean, this is still actually a pretty fine opening hand for an abysmal draft deck. Well, let's see over here. Burn this, burn this. This is not that important in this campaign. We're looking for like the divination. The divination will be really strong. That's also a good card. <laughs> Man, that's so funny. They made it easier and harder at the exact same time. Well, they made it fixed and then harder at the exact same time. So we need four clues to advance. Right of Seeking. Let us investigate. We have seven to the game's four. We might as well use Jacqueline's ability on this one just to make sure it happens. Make sure it happens and we don't miss our turn. We're taking the zero. Grab two clues. So we get a Diverging Path. Put it here. Uh, I think for our last action, we're just going to gain a resource. Now, over here... Two? No, it's after you discover... It's put that many! Oh, let's go! Man, this is easy! This is the easiest thing in the world. Okay. Alright, well that changes everything. Let's move into this location for action number one. So we'll discard four cards. Spend those clues. Hmm, I see. I did an RTFC. I did not RTFC. All right, one, two, frick you. Frick you, game. Section one. Let's just be drawn to the flame. What's the worst that can happen? That? Yeah, it actually is probably the worst that could happen. And that's not that bad, all things considered. Uh, last action, we'll just move back. This guy moves up here. Uh, then we'll go upkeep. Five of twelve. Evil card is inexplicable cold. For each point failure, must either choose and discard one card from your play area or a card from your hand. Or take a damage. We're testing one to four. Four. Ouch. 
Oh, I didn't do observed. Yeah, good call. Let's see what it is. See if it would have changed anything. I think I'll give us each plus one health. Just Gloria plus one health. I think that's what I would have chosen even without this. So we'll go up to three. We would have had six. We're testing three to two. Take a horror. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll use our perception for this because we can replace it with something better. So we'll be five to two. Oh, hey, mark it. Draw a card to replace that. Ah, who cares? All right, what can I not do twice? Engage, play, or resource. Okay, Gloria, you're going to kind of take this turn off. You're going to actually play Dr. Francis, and then you're going to gain two resources. Like, it's a bad turn, but we got to do something, right? Play, engage, resource. So we're going to move in... Sorry. We're going to play. We're going to move. We're going to lose our resources. Uh, and then we're going to investigate at 5 to 2. Sweet. Okay. Upkeep. Yeah, what's the point? Six of twelve. That's going to surge into... That's bad! <laughs> that is not good! Okay. I'll be honest, everyone. I won't be upset if we lose this campaign in this scenario. I'm going to try my hardest to win. Believe you me, I'm going to try my darndest. But these have sucked the life out of me. These draft decks. I believe in you. Thank you. I believe in myself too. I don't want to, but I do. Frick, man, we really needed that. Man, it's so fun just losing all of our cards and all of our resources, huh? All right, Gloria's going to go first. She's going to play this sword cane, not provoking attacks of opportunity. And we're going to attempt to evade this guy. We have five to three. We're going to use Jacqueline's psychic energy to try to walk away with a win here. Looking like a win. We'll take that one. Evade this dumb board. Uh, then we're going to get rid of that for our next two actions. Now, Jacqueline, you have to grab us a clue. Super fun. Ooh, God, we really have to do this just five to four, huh? I mean, we gotta believe. Sad face. Let's go again. Okay, we are now in the ultimate back and forth. This guy puts two doom up here. Upkeep. Nine of 12. 
Are you fucking kidding me, man? We're doing this test again, huh? One to four. I'll take a bunch of damage. What do we got here? That's awful. Spawn, location with the most clues. There you go, Grandma. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm doing for my next campaign chat? I'm doing untabooed Rex Murphy. I'm doing untabooed Eucatastrophe Silas Marsh. And I'm going to fucking break this game over my back. <laughs> so I break this game's back over my knee. Like, I'm going to just absolutely destroy it. <sighs> like, unfortunately, there's just, like, nothing to do here. We could try to fight this thrall, right? We attack it at three to two. Wait now, I am the game now. <laughs> Gloria's just gonna die down here. Gloria's just gonna die. We have one card in hand. Playing this is probably the right thing, but it's like so difficult. And then we don't take a test this turn. There should be two clues on this location. Yeah, I'm gonna put this to the side. Yeah, it's very strong. And even just doing it once is already like good enough. Like the card is even good even after it removes itself from the game. Now, here's what you do with Silas, right? You're running Eucatastrophe. You're running the Nightmare Bobble. So you basically just never fail. And then you commit the Nightmare Bobble to a test. Oh, shucks, I failed by two. We're, uh, sorry, the Dream Parasite. You commit the Dream Parasite to a test. I think it's minus two to a test. Uh, it might be minus one, actually. What is Dream Parasite? Uh, that's not how you spell dream parasite. Yeah, it's minus two. Aw, oh, shucks, I failed by two. Get it back. Now you basically just got plus four to your test. Incredible. Did you ever get a chance to play Untabooed Eucatastrophe York? It also is a need broken. I believe that too. Uh, but I've, I've only played York once. But that does seem pretty broken as well all right it's time for enough beating around the bush we should just like take this awful turn but what line is better so gloria is in a pickle she can uh, evade the thrall with this and then we can try to beat this lady to death We need one more clue, and unfortunately Jacqueline chose the wrong door. Yeah, Vulture's already circling Grandma, it's true, they're like, woo, dinner. All right, we're going to just attack this thing three to two. Be in mind, this is like a horrible plan, but I just can't think of anything better. We have no kill spells here. 
minus one. I might be a genius. Let's go again. Oh my god, it's fucking dead. <laughs> Alright, let's sword cane. We have five to three. Oh my god, I'm the luckiest boy in the world. Oh my god, luck is on my side. Alright, this is pretty sweet. Alright, now we're going to investigate here. We're going to investigate at 5 to 4, and we are going to use our Psychic Energy to help us through this. Looking good so far. Cancel that. Sorry, keep that one. Grab this clue. We must spend the clues and immediately advance. So you're telling me there's a chance. Remove all clues from his location and play. Bye. Bye. Reveal ascending path. Same thing. Uh, then we're going to go two, three. Actually, we're going to go here and we're going to gain a resource, I think. We're going to do that instead. Because then we can help Grandma out with the test. It's a good draw. That's also fine. Never thought I'd say that about Mr. Earl Sawyer, but... Cool. Honestly, that's fine. That is less than optimal. <laughs> that is unfortunate. That is back into the salt mines. Man, chat, you guys talking about all these good things to do makes me so sad I'm not doing them right now. Why, why am I never lucky? Why can I never not find the one of in my 42 card deck twice in a row? Why am I not lucky? What the frick? Stats? That's not how you're supposed to work. Kane. Psychic energy. We move up here and we're going to Rite of Seeking. We have seven to the game's four. Sweet. Scrab and spend altered paths. All right, Jacqueline, you need a lot of luck, but. If there's someone who's the luckiest person in the world, it's Gloria. We're going to play so uh, Earl Sawyer, get attacked. I've never tried drafting an Arkham deck, and I have to say the evidence so far isn't convincing me to try it. I wonder... I wonder why not. <laughs> uh, the problem with drafting is the upgrading. Drafting upgrades makes it so like your deck is just a bunch of one-ofs, right? And there's a reason why on our channel we say that consistency is key to winning a game, right? Your deck needs a plan, and you need to make sure that plan happens. And with drafting, you don't have a plan, it's just like make do with what you have, and then you, uh... die. <laughs> but... I'm feeling un unkillable right now, chat. So we're gonna evade this guy literally at zero. Literally at zero. We failed. No alert. We're gonna be zero again. He's a god. Draw a card. Shortcut. Oh, good! I'm so happy I have this. Okay. 
upkeep. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, so good. So good. Yeah, and it keeps on coming and don't stop coming. We're drawing two. Hey, we know this card. Oh, okay, two more. Let's keep it going. Surges. Wizard of Yogg-Sothoth, fuck off and die. Oh, that's fine. Guys, I'm feeling like this might be it. I'm feeling like this might be the end of us. Okay, well, Grandma can do things. We can evade at five to three. And then we can move into here for action number two. Um, oh god, four shroud. We'll go seven to four. Actually, that's not bad because we have this. Sweet. Grab two clues. So you might be thinking, hey, Justin, you might be able to. We have a boss fight on the top floor. <laughs> we have a boss fight on the top floor. So no, we're probably not going to do this. We're going to evade this guy right here. We're at four to three. I think, honestly, with this one, we can't use our Psychic Energy. Thank God. Thank God we did not. We're going to use our Psychic Energy on this one. We're evading at zero... Sorry, three all, so zero up. Bad. 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 Let's go again. Zero up. Fuck me. Oh, I do get a draw card from here from Earl. Nice. Upkeep. All right, chat, have you guys figured out what the plan is yet? Because we do have a plan. We do have a plan. The plan is bad. <laughs> oh, the plan is broken. Oh no, the plan's bad. <laughs> Oh, no! <laughs> oh, frick! I remember we talk about this scenario a lot. How sometimes the, uh, because the Mythos deck is so huge, it just does nothing. And then sometimes it literally just pile drives you into the cement. All right, this guy does not have Hunter. The problem is I didn't want to be in this guy's location this turn. So, we are going to try to evade him. We're up one. Not great. Just got to believe, right? Fuck me in the ass. We pass Gloria's turn. <laughs> we pass her turn. There's nothing else to do. Oh, Jacqueline! Oh, Jacqueline. All right. 
We're gonna try to evade this guy. We're at three all. Let's use some psychic energy. Three all. Three all. No. 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 It's over, chat. It's over. Just so you guys all know, we're gonna die on where Doom awaits for the first time ever playing this game. I'm not gonna make it through this one. Incredible. You do not hurt me, you freaking idiot. Keep. The grandma can do- I mean, the grandma can try. She has to go really quick. We're testing four to two. Let's go. That's huge. That's huge. We gotta see what Jacqueline gets. Oh! <laughs> oh no! Farthest location! Oh, are you kidding me? Get these dogs out of here! One, two, one, two. Do I have to? Okay. Gloria, you're going to try to evade this guy. We I wanted to use this to draw cards, but we need to make sure this happens. We have seven to four. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Did I get this? I don't think I did. Oh no. Well, Gloria's gonna pass her turn. And Jacqueline, let's do some psychic energy to evade, but we can be up two on this one. No, I guess we just go up two, right? Yeah, that's the line. These ones, well, the first one we do psychic energy, we're at zero. We'll reveal another token. Maybe we'll be lucky. We were actually lucky. Not dead? Not dead! Oh, she lives to fight another mythos phase. She's unkillable. You can't beat her. You can't. All right. We'll deny the existence of this guy one more time, desperately hoping. Idle hands kills her. Oh, then we should spend this to do that, and then we can uh, take another action. Which we can use to move here. We do that instead. Because I forgot about Idle Hands dealing horror. This would, uh, this at least get, lets her get away. These guys moving in are going to kill her. But it keeps the problem off Gloria for one more turn. The problem is this guy's on the path. We're done. Upkeep phase. Great card. Don't make me laugh. Surges into. We're testing two to four. Wait, chat, did I do that last turn with Jacqueline? Did I draw plus ones for both of them? 
I did, didn't I? Because I didn't have Earl Sawyer there, did I? But I still drew plus ones for both of my evades against these guys, huh? I said I was up zero. I said I was up zero, but I drew a minus one on my Psychic, where I had the commit of the thing, and then two plus ones. So even though my mind was wrong, I was actually right. Wow. Go, Gloria, go. Five to four. Dude, they really want her to die to this crazed Shuggeth, man. They really want her to die to this crazed Shuggeth. That's incredible. That's incredible. That was... It's wild. Anyways, Jacqueline. Draw a card. Great. Draw a card. Draw a card. You don't really have much you can do, though. So, like, we're just kind of, like, drawing, like, for, like, a hope spot, but it's not going to happen. So this guy moves in here. These guys all move in there. She takes one horror when they come in, and she is defeated. I take three meat, so that's enough to die. Whoa. The sorcerers from Dunwich, seeking arcane power from beyond this realm, have accomplished what Wilbur and Old Watley could not. Through blood sacrifice and indescribable experiments, the dark power the sorcerers sought is now within their reach. However, they will never get the chance to truly yield this power. In beseeching Wilbur's father for knowledge, they have drawn the creature forth from its extra-dimensional realm. Yog sothoth emerges from the open rift from above Sentinel Hill, blotting out the sky and enveloping the world. Now it has come to Earth, and it rules where humanity once tread. Yog sothoth tore apart the barrier between worlds and became one with all reality. Nice. And then each investigator is driven insane. The investigators lose the campaign. Dang. Dang. I had such high hopes coming into that uh, first little bit. I was like, when I drafted my decks, I was like, these decks are pretty good. These were great starter decks. But you just don't upgrade. I mean, that's the thing, right? Like the problem with the draft challenge, and maybe there's a way to fix it, is is in the upgrading, right? Drafting your upgrades is what makes it bad. Because, like, you're like, I'm going to choose this card because it's basically just a guts, right? So maybe there's a way to do drafting and still also keeping with the idea of drafting your upgrades too, but in a way that fixes it, right? Like, maybe there's a way, because I do like drafting your starting decks. That is really fun to see what you get. It's kind of like a chaos, but like with Chaos, when you build out of it, your deck gets better, right? But in drafting, that doesn't happen. So maybe there's a way, if we do drafting again, or if I do it, because I don't think Brendan Travis ever want to do it again, and I'm honestly pretty close to that as well. But I'm also a bit more of a masochist than them. I I'll take the pain. Because I move on. I've already moved on. I know I'm free of this. So my, I'm not, I'm not even upset anymore. I'm just like, Gloria and Jacqueline, they're at peace. That's all it comes down to. So maybe there's some way for drafting in the future to be revisited, but focusing on how the upgrades can be done better. Maybe there is. But that's it. That's it for the draft challenge. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who watches these videos, comments on the videos, all of that stuff. Um... I do not want to become famous and buy followers and viewers on bigfollowers.com. I'm going to just ban you, you robot, in my Twitch chat. First off, how dare you? Second off, thank you everybody for watching. It means the world to me. Have a good one. And as always, GG's.